Now, we go for a little ride. Please, don't say ride. <laughs> yeah, I've had enough of roller coaster rides and dino themed parks. I'm ready for a. What you call those things that were chasing For a nice stroll. Sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh, yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. It's you 121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Boy, your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Danny's, and it's jammed. Huh, so it wouldn't have fired anyway. Go figure. That's never a good sign. Oscar! I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the- Oh, that was Decaf's never. gun, okay. Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. I thought it was Nemo's. No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Uh-oh. Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team, and, 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 and- Billy! Look, we are not leaving without Decaf. I mean, we agreed, right? Oh man, I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. Daddies! We've got a situation here. Yeah, now the big predators are coming. No. <laughs> the copies are like, "What for us? Take us with you!" Oh yeah, there's slash marks on the chopper. Oscar, I've got no power. I'm on it. All right, let's load these up quick. Prime it. Absorb the power. Try it now. That battery's not responding. Try another one. Did, did you see that, Oscar? I don't like when that happens. Pick up the pace. Yeah, I don't like it either. Let's try another. Knowing the way of suspenseful games, I'm guessing that it's not going to take just two or one of these power chargers, and it doesn't matter what order you go in and choosing which one to prime first. I think it's going to make us do it all. Try it now! Alright, with two. Let's please. Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right, so we can actually get out of here sooner if you check the gauges instead of just going to prime it or turn it on right away. This might give us a safer exit point than my first run. Come on, Oscar. Get in the trapper. Get in the trapper. See you later, you big ugly lizard. Actually, no, I hope I don't see you later. You're a good little thief. You know how to open handcuffs? So who's left? Got 
capture Sorkin and her assistant. Then we get the hell out of here. What about Decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? Gravestones are for the people who die beside him. The skulls are for the people who die because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put Decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... Listen, don't do this. Oscar gets a little... Look, it was his time in Bogota. These men were rising him, getting in the way, and then they weren't. You know what I mean? Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers. Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy. This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Speaking of jokes, Oscar, tell the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see at all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. On my I'm ankle. gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls. Quiet! Then we'll see hey. how proud you Listen, are. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Yeah, Dr. Harding, you tell him. Leave it to the scientists to s make up a solution. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Ugh. Bring the kids. Fun for <laughs> all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications who are you just your friendly neighborhood rescue team at your service man I'm Billy Yoder and this is look let's just get this out of the way I'm not going anywhere this part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the predators I'm perfectly safe and I don't need saving that's not a good idea man but since you're here what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. Well, scientists may come up with solutions, but they're not all Hello, sane. Lady. Hey, can I help? Sure, why the hell not? Well, jeez, don't be so excited about it. Yeah, you're right, this is a big deal. I should be throwing a box-moving party. Thanks for coming to rescue us. It's what I do. That and moving people's stuff around. I could use a few good marks in my employee file. It's been a rough year. I know, right? I almost got suspended for skipping class too much. Mom would have killed me. <laughs> well, we all got problems. Hmm. You skip class, these guys kill people. Yeah, problems. Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me, if 
we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charm her. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. <laughs> I like his plan. Neuro-linguistic programming. Why not? So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. Bitch, why'd you even come if you weren't gonna grab a box? Wait here. I'm gonna go. You gotta go probe somewhere. for info. Uh, what's Move a I box. Do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those files. Or that boxes. too. Cool. I'm guessing we have no true intentions of moving them. Building. Hammond will kowtow to the major shareholders and cut every corner to recoup their investment as fast as possible. With no regard to the animals' welfare, that you're angry and scared, and you've got to be exhausted. You know, Doc, I saw some bites like that at one of my men back at the visitor center. Mister. Call me Billy. Mr. Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files like we discussed? Yes, ma'am. Alright, you heartless bitch. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Listen. Hammond really made a mess of this place, you have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Huh. You have a point. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. All right. Well, that's a cue to go back and see if we have any dirt dug up on Dr. Sorkin. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. What else? Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. I gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. Mm. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. That's their food. I'm not moving these things. They look like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, good. All right, well, we know she likes to preserve wildlife. Let's see if we could use that to our advantage. See if we can get different dialogue options and actually say the right thing now. I was no real scientist, but someone should have seen this coming. So that girl is your daughter? Yeah, my youngest, Jess. Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to I'm watch I'm about to throw you to a T-Rex, bitch. Sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean... It's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Well, obviously that's true. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place Yeah, you like already this. said that. Trust me, there is a very good reason. Well, come back when you think of one. Would you mind if I took a look at your wound? Yeah, why not? I've tried talking to her, Dr. Sorkin. Dr. Sorkin, why do you think interrupting me is going to work this time? Please, ma'am, if we don't get you back, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. I'll probably lose my job. Well, I don't wish that on anyone, Mr. Yoder, but I'm afraid it can't be helped. I can't abandon these dinosaurs just so you have a job. Look, Dr. Sorkin, we already caught one unauthorized trespasser. Who knows who else is on the island? Your life may be in danger. I'll take my chances, Jurassic Thank Park you. trespasser. Gotta get back, because, uh... You never know, the prisoner could have a relapse or something. Highly unlikely. Ugh. Trust me, there is a very good reason. Well, come back when you think of it. Maybe I gotta talk this over with Oscar. 
if there's nothing good in the file boxes. How's your smoke? Yeah, that's a joint. Hand rolled by Oscar. You just don't inhale like that on a cigarette. Anyway, um... What's the info? Hey, Oscar. Was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s. Lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the hmm. lines. You gonna do any work around here? What are we, union now? <laughs> How the hell does Dr. Sorkin think we're gonna load all this crap into the chopper? Dunno, but you better do it if you want to get on a good side. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks, you've been a great help. Can we get out of this? If you want to tag along with us, that's cool. Just give Oscar his space. Doesn't do very good with kids, or adults, or animals. Come to think of it, doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. So that was it? That's all? Alright. Oh, shift. Okay. Shift is how you get out of dialogue options. Good to know. So that's her past. I can't tell you how many times I tried convincing him. The park should be a nature preserve. No theme park attractions. No cages. Hammond never really cared about the marvels I created for him. It's always been about the money. never seen this? I thought I knew every dino on this. Dr. Sorkin. Why do you think it's Because I know your past. Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors. I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Pens. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding. Perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. 